And we're up. Let's go, Tim Dillon. How are you, sir? I'm good now, looking at that coat. Thank you for having me. It's <laughs> raccoon. I went to a furrier in New York, and two little old Jewish guys, and they go, we don't have anything in your size, uh, like a sable or chinchilla or any of the high end. But then the one of the little guys goes, we may have a raccoon in the back. And he... <laughs> <laughs> And he came out with this, and this is a raccoon, but he was explaining it's from Finland. Like, these oh. raccoons are Finnish. Is that the actual color of their fur, or did they dye that? Because it, it's a, the, like a blonde, almost like a, like a grizzly bear. I think the raccoons in Finland are, are have different colors, perhaps. Mm. Let's Google that. Yeah. What does a raccoon look like in Finland? Is that a different animal? What do they call them? They call them dumpster dogs or something like um, that? Trash pandas. Trash pandas, that's it. You know? Yeah. And uh, listen, I like a raccoon too, but I also like fur. I think people should be allowed to wear fur. Well, it is weird that you're allowed yeah. to kill animals and eat them. Why are they call it a raccoon dog? Oh, oh so it is, it is kind of similar to, to, the, to the code I have. I typed in Finland raccoon and it just keeps saying raccoon dog. Raccoon dog. See, in Finland, they seem to be more tan. Yeah, that looks like your your coat. Yeah, that's a that doesn't look like a raccoon. Like if I saw that, I wouldn't say that's a raccoon. I'd be like, what is that? Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's kind of got a raccoony face. Like sc yeah. scroll back up to those images, like that picture up there. That's a raccoony face. This cr cute cute creature. That's a raccoony face. But the color of it, I'd be like, what is that? That one looks a little weird. That's weird. Yeah. So they call him a raccoon dog? I, I, I just typed in. Bro, you got a dog coat on. That's rough. I knew I knew it. I think I've got taken advantage of. <laughs> 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 this was it. They kind of looked at each other a few times. And this one didn't even have the liner in. They put the liner in. Oh, Jesus. It's a very cheap liner. Oh. They put the liner in. I just went in because I was curious about I don't, I don't understand it. I get curious about different things. So these furriers in New York City, a lot of them will kick you out if you don't have an appointment. So one of them just said, we can't deal with you. You don't have an appointment, go. But then these two guys were nice enough to talk to me a little bit. And I was just asking questions. I'm like, <clears throat> what's the deal? They're like, well, sable is like our, the top thing. And then they're like, obviously, chin mink and chinchilla and fox. Could and they make you a custom of course, one? Your they size? Could so you'd have to order it. They could absolutely make a custom one, but I wanted something fun to come on here with. Yeah. So I said, I don't really even want one of these. So I just want to do like an impulse buy. Just give me something to buy. Right. I don't want to think and about you got, this. And you got the raccoon. And then the guy goes, we have a raccoon. I don't know what it is. It could be a costume. <laughs> <laughs> and that might have been what the Patterson guy wore in the Bigfoot foot. Yeah, I have no idea what it is. But it is a fun, and it's got that hood. Mm. It's got a hood like if you were a rapper or uh, something like this. Do you know, you know? Bill, you know Bill Blumenreich from uh, Boston? Of course. Yeah. Uh, Bill had a, a mink coat once. Yeah. And he let me try it on. I'm like, let me try that on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh my God, it's so warm. It's He's amazing. Like, yeah. There's a reason why people like them. But people get real mad. Oh, yeah, they don't like it. But it's also weird. Like, you're allowed to wear leather. Right. Like, what is leather? If you're wear leather is everywhere. Everybody wears leather. It's leather in cars. is just the fur removed. That's all it is. Right. Like, crocodile uh, scales. There's a company called Origin, and uh, one of the elk that I shot, we took the hide and had the hide shipped to them. They're going to turn it into boots. Yeah. It's good use of leather. Of course. What, but that's normal. Nobody gets nobody gets freaked out if they see you with leather boots well, on. Well, wasn't this Everybody the entire, I mean, on. you know more than me, but the the Native Americans who respected the, you know, the, the animals and the environment, it was all about utilizing every part of the animal. Yeah, they used everything they could, and right. they lived in harmony with them. Like you know, yeah. especially like some some of these Native American tribes had these relationships where they were migratory with the animals. Right. Like like buffalo and the Comanche, they they followed them around, man, and they they used all their they blankets, they all sorts of things. Yeah. They, they, their teepees, everything. Like so, to me, I don't understand where it became. Uh, you know, so controversial because it's uh, it's 
really rich people flaunting that they can go have someone murder a mink for them. Right. And you're wearing this thing and you've got all these diamonds and you're walking right. in fabulous. It's, it's imbalanced. It's, right. It's grossly imbalanced. To you're, a degree. You're a, a rapper with like hundreds in your hands. You're throwing them sure, out Sure, but the somehow crowd. I look balanced with nature in Yay. this in an odd way. I don't, you know. I don't even feel like I look rich in this. I look a little crazy. Well, I you look have like a guy on out. the brink of something and not right. a good thing. It depends on what you like. Right. It I would look at right. that's a fun guy. That's a f my initial reaction when I saw yeah. you in. I was like, this yeah. is awesome. It's it's interesting because it, it it does seem to me. I understand that people are morally against it, but when you start like, I don't know, throwing paint on people, yeah. right? It's kind of crazy. Red paint. I was yeah. in Beverly Hills once. They had like outside of a store. They were like chanting. And they were trying to intimidate people walking in the store. It just feels silly. I had a girl tell me once, she was upset at the comedy store, that I, I had fur, I had a hoodie with fur around the edges of it. And she and she just like out of nowhere, I, know, I wasn't even talking to her. She's like, something shitty about the fur. Right. I, go, I go, it's fake. Yeah. I go, it's fake fur. It's like, a f it's a fucking hoodie. Right. And she goes, I don't like what it represents. <laughs> what is it rep What is wrong with these people? <laughs> I don't it represent. This was a long time ago, by the way. This is not like famous me, but I was like, this is such such a crazy conversation. Like it's fake fur. Like, I I don't understand. I I I understand people that are ethical vegans who say I don't want any type of animal product ever. Right. Okay, um, I disagree with that, and I think a lot of people on Earth would disagree with that. I think the human race would go would starve pretty quickly if we couldn't eat any animal product yeah that it's, wouldn't work out well it wouldn't it's work all, out. It, uh, it is also very complicated because the relationship that we used to have with animals like the animal relationship that you're talking about with the native americans where yes. they had this the tribal relationship where they followed these herds around and hunted them expertly that is so different than going to Jack in the Box. That's true. And, and that's what most of what our meat is coming from, this weird subversion of like the natural way of getting food. The factory farming. Yeah, I mean, there's never been a time ever where in human history where people have stuffed so many fucking animals into warehouses and just beheaded them. But because our population has never been greater. Right. It's never been bigger. We've never had more of a burden to feed people. Yeah. Right. And it's unfortunate the way that it happens. I mean, we've all seen, like, the footage of, like, the chickens mm -hmm. that don't get to walk around. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Not good. 